My bad. Anyways, it's crazy how this, I got to figure something else about that. So your limitations need to be rethought of. I mean, you wasn't thinking to have them anyway. You need to re rethink everything that you, the, every every thought process that you have right now need to be reevaluated and make sure that it's even good enough to stay in you. You, Because, you know, like I said before, your brain is the biggest puppet master in your life. And when I say puppet master, I mean your brain can trick you. You got to be honest with yourself. How many times you say I'm going to go on a, uh, exercise plan or a diet and two, three, dig, two, three days into it, you s reasoned yourself out of the diet? Yeah, you lack discipline. Yeah, you lack willpower and all that. But at the end of the day, our brain is meant to help us survive. And whatever patterns you've been doing this whole time, your brain is like, oh, well, so-and-so so does this pattern, so I'm going to keep this pattern going. And you got to understand this thing about yourself. That's why it's good to learn about you. Learn who you are. 95% of your brain activity are all habitual habits, subconscious stuff. Only 5% of you on a day is spent thinking. 5% is spent thinking. 95% is spent <laughs> doing habitual habits and triggers and stuff. So the question is, for the rest of this video, how do we take 5% of thinking that you do on a daily basis? How do you take that 5%, that small bit, and change a 95% problem? Now, a lot of y'all probably like, man, that is, that, you can't change it. Oh, well, yes, you can. There's two options that you have. Honestly, I just look at it as one because the second option, well, I'm not going I'm not going to look at it as one because that is an option. So we're not going to we ain't going to go down that road. The first option is to repeatedly suggest to yourself the complete opposite of the program. And then you like I said there's steps that go with it. And we I think I've explained it in other videos and if I haven't, then I'll make a video on it. The, the second thing is to have a super duper emotional impact that happens out of nowhere. Bloom, like 9-11. When 9-11 happened and them planes blew up and all that stuff happened, the people around there got impacted immediately. Why? Because they'll always remember what happened on September 11th. But I bet you, you go and ask them what happened on September the 5th. They can't tell you. They can't tell you. Or well, they got to rejog their memory. So emotional impacts create different habits too immediately. So since emotional impacts create a paradigm shift, because that's what it is, there is a process called quantum leaping. You want to get into quantum leaping. When you get into quantum leaping, you'll understand the process of using your emotion, using your willpower, using your attitude to jump into the lifestyle that you want. And even in quantum jumping, which is uh, it's something different. In quantum jumping, you're creating a doppelganger of yourself in your head. And you're visualizing this doppelganger doing what you want to happen. And in that process, you take on the emotions and the attitudes that you created in this doppelganger and you add it from your visualizations to your life. And eventually doing that, your nervous system will trick and wire itself and you'll start doing what you're supposed to be doing as far as what you what, what your goals are. That's why you gotta be clear on where your goals are. And you gotta reason with yourself every day why you want these goals to happen and you know, have a big enough why. A lot of us get stuck and then we just go backwards or we're straining to go forward, you can't strain and go forward. If it ain't already in here, it ain't gonna work. So you gotta develop yourself. Think about it when you first picked up a basketball and started shooting. Just because you saw some Michael Jordan videos don't mean every shot gonna go in. You didn't have it in you. You had to develop it in you. Then after two, three years, you have this, uh, this essence in you that makes the shots. It has to be inside. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, them dudes, they had unbelievable willpower. 
that started inside and it expressed itself outside with the awards and the, the championships and stuff. You want to be a champion? You got to think like a champion. And a champion doesn't have certain limitations that you have. You got to cut your limitations short and you got to stop giving yourself excuses. Oh, this is how I am. This is not how you are. There was a point in time where you wasn't even where you're at right now. So how are you going to sit here and, and lie to yourself and lie to people like me and say, this is how you are? Oh, this is a part of my character to be angry. No, it's not. If we take the anger away from you, it ain't going to kill you. Some people, I told you, 95% so of the world would rather die than think. And when it comes to quantum jumping, all you need to worry about is the want. Your want got to be big enough. You working off the want. Want is the only prerequisite that you need in making a change. You don't need to worry about where you're going or how you get there. That's what I meant. You got to know clearly where you're going and take the leap. You don't worry about the middle ground. You start worrying about the middle ground. Trust me, you're going to reason your way, your way out of all your goals, worrying about how you're going to get there. Just know where you need to go and start heading in that direction. That's it. It's so simple. Make a decision you want to go there and start heading into the direction and start reasoning with yourself every day why you want to get there and let your desire and your want to get to the, the final the, the final grounds of your success be everything you need to get there. Yep. All right, I'm going to cut this short because I got to get back to doing what I was doing and this dude, boy, this dude right here tripping. <laughs> All right, I'll catch up with y'all. Peace.